Well, significant rains overnight in parts of KwaZulu-Natal could have exacerbated localized flooding in areas already affected by the inclement weather. ACBC News reporter Mongani Gem and video journalists are following the story there for us. Take a look. Following the heavy rains that visited the small town of Ladysmith, as you can see behind me, it has resulted in the complete closure of the city center here. As you can see, shops have been closed, resulting, you know, in the loss of profits and salaries for workers who are expecting to be at work today. But I have with me the mayor of the Alfred Duma municipality, who's just going to take us through the extent of the damage here. Mayor, we thank you very much for your time. I know that you said, you know, disaster teams are out assess assessing the damage, but from what you have received, just tell us the extent of the damage here in Lady Smith. At the moment, one cannot say uh, how much damage has been caused, but I can assure you uh, a lot of damage has been caused by these uh, persistent rains. And not only here in town, also uh, in the wards outside of town, where people's houses have been destroyed, uh, their belongings have been destroyed, their food and everything. Uh, but we are still gathering the information uh, as to how many houses, as to how many people have been affected. Uh, so far, we are a bit fortunate because we have only uh, received one report uh, with regard to the loss of life, which uh, happened in Ward 23. Uh, yeah, but our business people uh, have lost a lot because their businesses were closed as from Friday. So closing your business for three or four days, that is a huge loss of income. That is a huge loss of profit. Mayor, you're saying that there are houses that have been demolished. Do we know maybe if the evacuation process is still underway? Because we spoke to residents who are still fearful, you know, that these rains may return. Yes, uh, our disaster teams are out uh, ensuring that our people are safe. It's a pity that uh, some of our people are too reluctant to leave their homes. Even if uh, an advice from the expert comes that your home is uh, uh, below uh, the, the, the flooding area, uh, people, uh, if uh, floods are, uh, are not yet on that area, people are reluctant to leave their homes. But we are doing all in our power to ensure that those who need to be evacuated are taken into the uh, uh, safety uh, in the uh, community halls and, and, and churches. Okay. You, we were talking of, uh, you were saying that this is not the first time that this town has been flooded. You were saying that this may be because of the drainage system. Can you tell us how far, you know, work has come in uh, trying to solve the issue here with the drainage system that is resulting in the flooding on of this you know main roads that is very busy because we know the trucks also use this road here uh, in fact uh, I, I wish to clarify that uh, this is not the the a drainage system problem it's the valves that are not functioning uh, because if the the river is not um uh, at a higher level there is no water that comes from the river into the town and there's no water in the town which proves that our drainage system is functioning uh, we, we enlisted the services of SOPEC in the previous year during the flooding and they advised us that our valves are not functioning properly we have 11 valves that take uh, water from the town into the uh, uh, river. Uh, we could only manage to purchase eight of those 11 and we have fitted them. Now we are left with three. As you can see, water is, flow is flowing from uh, the west to the east. It's because the three valves that have not been fitted are on that side. Uh, so water is coming from that side and we are hopeful that once we fit this uh, remaining three uh, there will be a difference there will be no more flooding but unfortunately the supplier from whom we purchased uh, the eight valves uh, and from whom we are purchasing the three uh, 
only gave us the 27th of March as the date uh, in which we'll receive the remaining three valves. Now, we know this government has declared uh, a state of disaster. You know, Aguazul Natal is one of those provinces that's accounted uh, because of the inclement weather that is busy, you know, ravaging this province. Province, do you know, or rather, are you in talks with the provincial government uh, so that you no know, Lady Smith can also benefit from that? Because we know that previously there were other districts that were counted. Yeah, I don't know if Lady Smith was part, you know, of those districts that were, were, were mentioned that were going to benefit from this state of disaster. Uh, I think the provincial government will have to revisit um, the, their list of. of uh, districts that have been declared as disaster uh, areas uh, because they did that based on the rains that were, 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 were taking place in the previous three weeks uh, so that, that's what informed their decision. Uh, I, I am hopeful that uh, once, we, when the, once they receive this new information that we are busy gathering at the moment, they will, that will may, uh, change their mind and declare uh, our district a disaster. Because it's not only here in Ladysmith. You go to your Peckville, you go to your Inkosila and Albalele, uh, people's houses have been damaged. All over this municipality, people's houses have been damaged.